This is a brand new 2024 Tesla Model Y and I'm going to show you how to set it up from the factory. Also, this is one of the new colors. It's called Stealth Gray. They also came out with a new red. Honestly, the Stealth Gray, I mean, it looks good, but it's not that much of a difference. It's just darker. The first thing you wanna do when setting up your Model Y, and this is before you even take it home, if you have a garage or an area with a cover you're parking it in, you can see the trunk actually goes up pretty high. So what I want you to do, is make sure you set the height. So when you go into your garage the first time you open it up, you can actually stop this kind of wherever and you can hold this button in and you'll hear a sound. So once you hear that sound, this is now the new stop height for the trunk and that is how you set it. So next time you open the car up, I'll show you. stops right there. So that's something that's very useful. A lot of people I've seen have gone home, they open it up, like it has 100 miles on the car, and they scratch it off the top of their garage door. So that's something just to be aware of at first. Now, the rest of the setup is gonna be within the software. This is all gonna be very quick tips, and then you can customize it, but these are important features that will give you a better experience when driving the car. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click this button right here. And that's going to bring up this menu here. If you want to adjust your mirrors, that's this button right here. And then your steering wheel as well. And that is all right here to set up sentry mode. Now, sentry mode is the security system built into the car. It will monitor what's going on around it when it senses motion. But you need to put in a USB drive so it can actually record and save the footage. So it's useful to you. So I'll have the USB drive that you can get from Amazon linked in the description. But that's how you get sentry mode set up. Now into pedals and steering, you have chill and standard acceleration. In standard acceleration, in this long range model, you're at 4.8 seconds to 60. In chill, you're over seven seconds to 60, but you will get a little bit more efficiency in chill mode. Just with acceleration and everything, it just really smooths out the torque curve, which gives you longer lasting tires and just more uh, range out of your vehicle. Also your steering mode. Comfort mode is going to be the least amount of resistance when going back and forth on the steering wheel. Sport is going to give you the heaviest feeling. I actually like to put it in sport mode on long road trips. It just feels more solid as you're driving on longer road trips, but overall this will be up to you. Apply brakes when regenerative braking is limited. So regenerative braking, so we'll go ahead and start the car here or put it into a drive mode. So as you can see right here, there's a couple dots at the beginning and that's because we're actually charged up to 88%. So it reduces regenerative braking. I personally don't use that because it just it wears the brakes, but honestly, it's gonna be pretty rare when you would have to engage that. So I just leave that off. This really isn't important for right now. Charging is important. So it recommends to keep it charged to 80% for daily driving, which is gonna be plenty for your daily commute. So I recommend 80% just as they do. If you're going on a road trip, you can charge it up to 100%, that's not gonna kill it. But 80% for daily driving, that should be totally fine. Now, before we get too deep into the software here, I wanna tell you about another software from a company called Delete Me, which will help remove your personal information that data brokers sell from the internet. I've been using this since December and I can only remember getting one robocall since Delete Me has scanned 8,644 listings and found 77 data brokers with my information. So I'm already seeing results. Delete Me starts by having you fill out a profile of your name, common spellings, your phone number, address, or previous addresses you've lived at to find your information that data brokers are selling. These data brokers aggregate data, cleanse it, analyze it, and then license it to sell to other data brokers or other organizations interested in that data. From here, Delete Me will generate your first report and can take a few days all the way up to a month to get your information removed from the internet. And the best part is they keep removing your information every three months when it pops up on websites. Their privacy advisors even handle custom requests to remove your data if you find it somewhere random on the internet. So right now what they're doing for my viewers is giving them 20% off for Delete Me US consumer plans if you go to joindeleteme.com slash jeebs20 and use promo code jeebs20 at checkout. I also have a link for international plans. But again, that's joindeleteme.com slash jeebs20 and jeebs20 at checkout to save 20% off of your subscription. Also, the first accessory I recommend, this is what I sell the most of on this channel and people are most happy with this, are the floor mats. These are what comes with the car. They're just kind of flimsy and really wear down over time. But I've been partnered with 3D mats for over three years now. They are excellent. Also, if 
If you're looking for a Tesla supercharger, the best way to do that is click here, superchargers. And when you say that, it brings up all local superchargers as well as their rates. So if I click on this one here, it'll actually show me the rates at the supercharger in the time that those rates are in effect for and the charging speed as well. So this is very helpful, very useful information. For some reason, if you say Tesla superchargers, it doesn't come up correctly. So I just recommend saying superchargers and then that will accurately get you to where you wanted to go. This is where things get a little more interesting and that is under autopilot. So the car comes with traffic aware cruise control. That just means dynamic cruise control, meaning it will adjust its speed and everything based on the car in front of you. You then have auto steer beta, which I that's what I have my car in. So you wanna go yes there. And basically this is autopilot. So this will drive and steer your car on highways and B roads and everything. And this is a really useful feature and every Tesla comes with this. This says full self-driving beta. I don't know if that's gonna sign this person up for a subscription, so I'm just not gonna mess with that. But make sure you set auto steer beta, you wanna do that. For autopilot activation, it says single and double pull. That just means this right here. You single tap or you double tap it to activate that. I do double pull. I personally like that a little bit better. Okay, I was wondering about this because it's showing a bunch of full self-driving features and it does have full self-driving capability because this is a brand new vehicle. A lot of the new Model Ys and 3 and all Teslas will come with a trial of full self-driving. Also, if you guys want to use my referral code, I have it linked in the description. You should definitely use a referral code when buying a Tesla. I don't care if you use mine or not, use a friend's, but basically it's going to give you either free supercharger miles or it gives you 10,000 points that you're able to redeem for free charging or merchandise. Everyone should be doing that. I think that's awesome that they have that referral program. So, okay, that makes sense as to why some of these things like traffic light and stop sign control beta, because normally if you don't renew that, your car will not stop at traffic lights and things like that. Now, the other thing is when you set your cruise control, you can set it to be when you double tap to get uh, autopilot engaged, it will go automatically to two miles per hour over the speed limit or whatever you set it to. You do have a blind spot camera. That's good to have in place. Blind spot collision warning chime that'll give you a chime when a collision is detected it's a good safety feature speed limit warning i turn this off now maybe you want to use this as you have a brand new car but this gets annoying you get up to speed pretty quick but if you go basically when you hit the speed limit you get a chime and it's just kind becomes kind of annoying but that's up to you i personally turn it off now, still in autopilot, you wanna make sure all of these are on. These are all great features, especially green light traffic chime, basically when you're sitting at a red light. I love that I say basically, like there's much depth to this. When you're sitting at a red light and it turns green, you will hear a chime so you can stop texting and accelerate your vehicle. Walk away door lock, you wanna have that set. You could also do it for exclude home. That way, you don't, if you go into your garage and you need to get in the car, it's not locked every time. So that's something to be aware of. Driver door unlock mode, I always keep that off. I find that annoying. And you definitely want to have lock confirmation sound on because then as you're walking away, you can audibly hear, okay, the car is locked. And this is up to you if you wanna have your windows locked. Some people have dogs, might cut their head off if you uh, turn that on. The other thing here is appearance. Leave it in auto but have reduced blue light on. So that will automatically adjust to warmer colors if you're doing a lot of night driving, that way your eyes don't get as exhausted. I think that's a cool feature that they have put into here. Screen clean mode. So again, we're under display right now, screen clean mode. This is important. If you need to clean your screen, you click that and then you can go ahead and clean with a microfiber towel or whatever and it gives you directions on what to use and what not to use. Then to exit this mode, you just a little countdown and we're out. So that's all good. Now, scroll wheel function. This is good. So you can program what this wheel does and there's a bunch of different settings here. I have mine set to save dash cam. So I hold this down and it records whatever just happened and for the last 10 minutes. So it's nice to have that enabled for all the weird things that happen on the road. If you're getting older, we don't judge here. We do not judge for getting older. You need that text size to be bigger. Boom, you can change the text size to large here. So that's good. And there's just a lot of really useful features in here. Your trips, that's how you reset your trips. Your navigation. Now, this is another thing. Make sure that trip planner 
is activated. Unless you're a professional and you're, you know which superchargers to go to and everything, you wanna have add supercharger stops if necessary activated. That way you're not gonna get stranded anywhere, but that you absolutely want to have that activated. And you can adjust your uh, reroute settings there. If you wanna save more than 15 minutes, it'll reroute, or if you have it all the way down to five minutes, we'll just leave it at 10, but that's how you change that as well. And you can avoid tolls and ferries, so just another good option. Now, once you put your USB drive in the car for sentry mode, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and format the USB drive to just reduce the chance of getting corrupt files or anything like that, so that's good. Now, also dash cam, you can have on honk. Again, I already programmed it to have it when I click this, so on honk is another thing that you can do. You go ahead and tap the horn, and it will go ahead and beep, and then it'll save whatever just happened in front of you. Cabin overheat protection. Now this will eat a lot of battery, especially I'm out in Phoenix. What I do is no AC, and then it doesn't use as, as much battery and it keeps it fairly cool inside the car. Cause you can see here when we go to on, you can change how hot you wanna let it get in the car before this kicks on. I just think no AC, no AC is the way to go. The other thing is remotely through the Tesla app, you're able to cool your car down or you can leave the car in keep mode while you run into a grocery store or do something quick to keep the temperature where it's at. I'd say no AC is the best way to go with that. That way, keeping air moving in here, keeping it somewhat cool, but being able to go into the Tesla app and remotely have the car cool down, whether you're on the golf course or you went to the gym or something like like that. If you give it just five minutes, you get in, it's a perfect temperature. And I think that's an amazing feature, something that really spoils you over time. The other thing within uh, safety here, you can see it says power off. That just cuts all the power off to the car if you need to make an adjustment. And then you go into service mode here. Service mode is useful for, if you go to wiper service mode, if I click this, wipers pop up so you're able to adjust them or clean under them. So click that. And then uh, car wash mode here, that just sets the car so all the windows and doors lock. That way, if there's no chimes or anything like that, if you're running it through a car wash or hand washing it on your own, that's a good thing to do. You can do headlight, wheel and tire adjustment. You can pick which wheel and tire setup you have. So if you take your wheel covers off, you go right there, boom, it will reflect in the system. Well, I don't wanna re reboot the car, but it shows these wheels on your actual car sitting here. So I just appreciate them going into that detail for you. The other thing in wheel and tire, it says tires and you can select if you have winter or all season or summer tires. So we have all season tires. We can go ahead and exit there. Now, one of the final things here is upgrades. Now, this is where you're able to buy various subscriptions for the car. Earlier, I said, you know, if you want to use my referral code, it's in the description, or you can use a friend's, I don't really care. You can see the premium connectivity. You get a trial of this, but even just with one referral, you'll be able to get that for free for a year. So that's, again, why it's worth it. The other thing is you cannot get the acceleration boost anymore. So I was able to get an acceleration boost and take my acceleration from 4.8 seconds to 4.2 seconds. So that is another difference with this new 24 Model Y. So now that you've got your car all set up and you're good to go, you're gonna wanna know what accessories to get for it. And that's why you're gonna wanna watch this video right here. It's gonna be very helpful to you, all high grade accessories. And in the description of this video, I have a bunch of discount codes and links.